Well, biases are uh, one of the most uh, interesting phenomena in evolution. Uh, and uh, I would go as far as saying there's nothing that's not a bias. I mean, we're biased to live in a certain temperature range and we prefer sweet food to, uh, uh, over bitter food. Uh, so biases are essential. Uh, they really guide us uh, in a broader sense so that we, that we don't uh, hurt ourselves. Uh, you know, a bias towards uh, feeling solid ground rather than wobbling ground. Uh, the interesting thing is really uh, not to try to do away with these biases, but to really recognize them and not to uh, see them as something negative, uh, and yet to really understand that they cloud our clear thinking. Uh, and, uh, you know, that goes anywhere from self-deception to uh, uniqueness bias that we think, uh, and hey, I'm, I'm one of the first ones to think I'm very unique. Uh, and, uh, you know, basically the brain evolved for us to make ourselves special, to think of us as valuable. Otherwise, uh, we would not be able to uh, go through the, the strains and the struggles and difficulties of life. So uh, biases, in any case, negativity bias, positive bias, uh, confirmation bias, all of these are uh, so ingrained in us that we don't even see them. They are kind of transparent for us. Uh, so the way that I like to look at it is the more we can detect them and become aware of it, uh, uh, it's, it's kind of a hide and seek. Uh, you know, they come out of left field. And uh, it, the, the more we can become aware of them and discover them, uh, it's actually quite amusing how we twist reality in a way that confirms our particular view of the world. And uh, so I don't see them as something that's obstructing uh, a healthy, good, positive life, uh, but uh, it, it narrows the window. And the more we become aware of them, the broader we can approach uh, and the closer we can get to reality. Well, confirmation bias is probably um, one of the most pronounced biases that we have. And uh, anybody who has ever bought a car and thought for a while about what kind of car they want to buy, they probably notice suddenly, oh yeah, there is that car, there is that car again. And uh, suddenly the brain kind of detects in the environment something that confirms like, oh yes, that's, that seems like a really good car. Uh, so uh, confirmation bias is really a way for us to reaffirm our view of the world. And to some degree, it's actually essential. Uh, if we didn't have some kind of confirmation bias, uh, we would be lost. We could not uh, piece together a world that is coherent for us. So we have to ignore certain things and other things become a little louder. And confirmation bias uh, is different in different cultures. You know, for um, some cultures, uh, you know, uh, a big, broad-shouldered person is very attractive, and in others, it's a very elegant person or a very lively person. And, uh, you know, and I come from Germany, so in Germany, the confirmation bias is towards don't make a mistake, you know, get everything proper and order and get it right. Uh, so confirmation bias is really uh, essential, and yet uh, it's really valuable to recognize that uh, um, what we perceive and how we view it is uh, completely twisted uh, by our internal biases. I believe the value in becoming aware of biases is that it gives you the opportunity of having a little larger perspective. Uh, the danger uh, of not being aware of it, that we think we are right. Uh, so the value in understanding confirmation biases is that when we are in some kind of discussion or when we go into a different culture, uh, that we recognize, you know, the world looks different for other people. And it's not that mine is right or better or theirs is right or better. And I cannot really force them to see it my way and they cannot force me to see it their way. So recognizing that confirmation bias is completely ingrained allows us to uh, chuckle sometimes, you know, when we kind of insist on a particular way of seeing the world, whether it's politically or whether it's social. Uh, it's very important. It allows us to actually listen to other people better and uh, drop the confirmation bias maybe for a moment. There's not any particular bias that, that I would recognize as more important than the other, uh, but I do find the uniqueness bias especially amusing, you know, that, uh, that we consider ourselves to be unique. 
And the, the reason I believe that we have a uniqueness bias is that uh, we are the only person that we are with 24 hours a day. So we have far more information about ourselves, about our bodies, about our history, about our capacities. So it takes up much, much more space in our inner universe, so to say. And because we have so much more detail about ourselves and our own lives, uh, it looms much larger than anybody else. So the interesting thing about uniqueness bias is that it's not just about ourselves, but there are circles of uniqueness. For instance, we consider our person that we have a relationship with as more unique than other people uh, because we know more about them. We consider our parents often more unique than or our siblings, again, because we know so much more about them. Uh, and if you get to know somebody, uh, then they become more unique than other people. You know, my friends are really more unique than other people's friends, you know, or they're more special, or I'm closer to them. And it, it really, I believe, uh, it depends all on how much information we have about them and how important they are in our lives. <laughs>